Good morning. It's Saturday and I decided to torture myself by waking up early because I'm going to go shop for a car today. I've been driving the same car for about 10 years now. I remember being in a bit of a pinch and I really needed a car ASAP when my CRV started to take a big crap on itself. After about a week of an intensive internet search and combing through my financials, I showed up at a car dealership in Middletown specifically to buy the car that I have right now. And let me tell you, this car has been so good to me. In the past decade, it's brought me to endless shows, freelance work, conventions. It took me across country to Seattle when I moved out there, and two years later brought me all the way back to New York. It's been with me for countless urgent medical trips for family members, myself, at least 10 or so trips to Buffalo and back, and endless errands and fun trips, way more than you should expect from a car this age. And while it may not hold the title for my favorite all-time car, it has proven itself to be the most reliable, and it's the car that I've had the longest. Apparently my research was correct in picking this car because it's paid for itself multiple times over. It's not the warmest day out, but it's really, really pretty. I mean, you can see behind me, the sun is just, I don't want to say blaring because it's really not warm out here, but it is quite beautiful out. And there she is, my chariot for the past 10 years. My little Hyundai Accent. 2007 for those that are wondering. And I'll tell you what, at the time that I was looking for cars 10 years ago, and I came across this, this was listed by the uh, dealership that had it certified used. I tell you what, I didn't think much of Hyundai at the time. When they first came out, they were just kind of eh. But over the years, they've really come a long way. They got a lot better with the cars, the reputation gotten better, the price was right, uh, it was low mileage. I was like, what the hell? So I went ahead and bought it, and I tell you, as I already said, this has been the car I've had the longest, most reliable car that I've had to date. While my preference currently is still Honda, I am not against the idea of owning another Hyundai based on my experience with this car. It's been great. Besides being the vehicle that's helped propel me through every aspect of my life for the past decade it's also become a full extension of the person that i am while all good things do come to an end and buying your next car is an inevitability it still kind of feels like i'm saying goodbye to an old friend and family member please excuse a <laughs> bit of a mess here i try my best to keep my car nice and tidy but life just sort of happens right we're gonna do something about that well before we part ways let's go on one more adventure together Since I will be trading this car in as part of my down payment, it's only right that I get a decent clean one last time. Not only so they don't devalue my trade in, but also it's just the right thing to do. car wash together. This is the car equivalent of a mani-pedi. I guess it's a auto-pedi. <laughs> I know, bad joke. Please don't unsubscribe. Oh, look at the way my stereo is flashing away in there. I love it. I want to miss that stereo too. These guys always do a great job here also. Now the outside is looking spiffy already. And then they'll drive it out and they'll make the inside look spiffy, which I always love. Car is squeaky clean. Let's head to Middletown.
All right, so I'm here, Middletown Honda. This could be the very last time that I'm sitting in this car. The very last time I'm filming in this car. Wish me luck. I got a pretty good feeling about this visit. I've been car shopping for a couple weeks now. Really frustrating, but the whole time I've been looking forward to this specific trip. So I think there's a pretty good chance we're gonna work something out. All right, see you in a little bit. Figure out, looks like I have a long wait on this line. Let me start the recap of my visit to Honda. First off, because you're already wondering, yes, I did make a deal for a car. I'm pretty excited about it, actually. I made a deal. I haven't given them any money yet. I'm going to return either Monday night or Tuesday evening, and that's when I'll pick up the car. But I want to tell you a bit about my experience. So this was Middletown Honda, Middletown, New York. The first thing I want to say outright is that I had a really good experience there. By the way, I, this video is not sponsored by Honda, but if they want to start sponsoring me, they should reach out to me. Email down below in the description there. Yeah, truth be told, everybody and everything and everywhere is being affected by the shortages there are and employment, particularly in transportation. It's affecting the medical world, it's affecting food service, obviously. Quite honestly, although I made out well when I was at Honda, it's affecting the availability of cars to be sold as well. So it's uh, not the best time to be shopping for a car in terms of, if like if you're real picky, like I definitely want such and such car, good luck to you. You go to a dealership, they might have it, they might not. They might have it when you're getting ready to leave the house to drive over to make a deal. But by the time you get there, it may already be sold. While you're at the dealership speaking to someone about your car, somebody else might be selling that one car at the same time. Technically, that's always a risk, but it's a higher risk now because it used to be you go and they have multiples of whatever you're looking for. Maybe not the same color, but at least the same model. Right now, everybody's running short, which has added to some of my experience this past week, some of my frustrations because I'd look it up on the website. I'd go, I'd make a deal. Right away, they'd give me a call in like 10, 20 minutes of thinking of another dealership. I'm like, sorry, we don't have that car. It was in transport, but it's spoken for already. That's the reality that we're facing in these last couple of months of 2021. Shortages on everything. Getting back to what I was explaining. Went in, I spoke to a gentleman. Wasn't the same guy I spoke to on the phone. I guess he suddenly was out, even though he said he would be there. So instead, I was given to this gentleman named Chris. Chris is great, absolutely great. Told him what I was interested in. Told him where I was coming from financially in terms of what I considered acceptable options for the car. You know, as far as what models, new versus used, financing versus leasing. And then I told him what my ultimate goal was. And he was able to look through his computer and figure out a really happy medium. And when I say happy medium, it's not even like in the middle. It's like, this was the ultimate and I was put about here. That's pretty good. Like 75 to 80% towards my ultimate goal, which was way better than I expected. Honestly, I came in with a certain level of expectations and he helped me surpass those so kudos to you Chris for doing so you're an excellent sales person patient really easy to speak to listened very well and more importantly I just want to throw this out there I'm not gonna name names but there was another dealership that I was considering for today's trip I actually had made a deal online it was all but like signed basically it was all said I would have to do is show up at the paperwork speak to whoever show them whatever I need to show sign and we would have been set and I would have been paying less money than I'm gonna be paying for this car but for a car that's obviously not as nice as what I'm getting but the issue is that A, the website allowed me to commit to something they didn't have available. They ended up calling me to let me know it's not available. And instead of trying to work something out where maybe I can take another car or whatever, they're very dismissive. It's like, well, we'll let you know when we get something. You know, like very passive. I didn't feel like they were vying to get my business. Maybe I'm a little old school, but where I come from, if you're a car salesman, if you're a salesperson in general, if you work on a commission, then you're a go-getter. You go and you're proactive about keeping that customer. Like once you get a hold of somebody and you know they're interested in making a purchase, you do not let them go without making sure you've exhausted the possibilities of making that sale, especially when it comes to car sales, because A, car sales are big money, and B, if you have a potential customer within your grasp and you don't get them and they end up buying a car from somewhere else, the potential to see them again minimum is going to be like five years. Or if it's a person like me who runs a car until it's basically ready to die, 10 years, obviously. 
there's no guarantee that person's going to return to your dealership or that you're even going to be working there. They basically handed the money to Honda by the way they were handling me. And again, I'm not going to mention a dealership. We'll just say that it's in a neighboring town. I'm in Middletown now. It's in some town out in that direction. Somewhere between here and New York City is another dealership who lost my business that way. Now, Honda, Chris, he was a go-getter. Not aggressive, like he's pushy, but he made sure that he was tending to my needs. I didn't feel the need to walk away. I was like, hey, this guy's pretty cool. He listened to me very well. And more importantly, he got me from point A to point B. Got me to a car that I am happy to be purchasing. So it's a win-win. It's a win for them. It's a win for me. That's what I look for in a dealership. I don't think it's too much to ask. And towards the end, he introduced me to one of the managers there who took care of the financial part. Uh, this gentleman named Sean, he was wonderful too. We scheduled a time for me to come, give their money, and pick up the car. I'm very grateful to the experience I've had at Honda. Oh, this is the other thing. I took the car for a test drive, obviously. I was surprised. They let me test drive the car by myself. I've never in my life purchased a car where I took a test drive and the person selling the car wasn't right next to me. They were just like, yeah, go ahead. We'll see you in about 10, 15 minutes. And I drove around Middletown. You know, a couple areas I knew where I can kind of open up the accelerator and see how it handles on curves, all sorts of stuff. Obviously, I was pleased with it because, again, I'm making the purchase. So that was good. I think basically you've had my review of going in buying a car at Honda. I guess I'll just go home and feed my beautiful dog and then I will bring you with me to go pick up the car afterward. At that point, we'll talk a little bit more about the specifics of that. So, made it home in one piece. <laughs> ah, not feeling great, tired as heck, but you know what? Life's pretty good. I feel pretty good about today. Let's go tend to the dog and see what she's up to. Hey, Sammy girl. Hi. Oh my goodness. Somebody's hungry, huh? Are you hungry, baby? Oh my goodness, it's time to feed the dog. Look what you're doing to the curtain. You little cretinous dog. Are you hungry? You want to eat? What are you doing? You don't know what to do, huh? You don't know what to do. All right, I'm going to feed you. I think that would be the right thing to do. You're going crazy. I can't keep up with you with the camera. All right. Okay, okay, go ahead. Good girl. So it's Monday and I've been obviously working. It's a short week, so I'm kind of busy. Got a lot of stuff going on. In the meantime, constantly checking my banking account to see if the tr big transfer from my savings account to my checking account has gone through. Now they're from two separate banks, so it's not an instant transfer, but seeing that goes through so that I can go get my certified bank check with my down payment for my car so that I can shoot on back to Middletown tonight and pick up my new car. I'm pretty excited about doing it. So and on top of that, besides checking that and working, meanwhile, the finance manager guy from Honda is giving me a call, seeing what the status is, and we're just kind of keeping our fingers crossed that it'll transfer complete in time that I can still peel off from work a little bit and run to the bank and get that so that I can go grab the car tonight. Not the end of the world, I can't get it tonight, but I really want it tonight. I mean, it's, it's a good car. And the thing is, being that it's a holiday weekend, everything's a little, I wanna try to wrap this up in the next day or so because it'd be really cool if for my two out of town trips that I can do so with my new car. Not just because it's a smoother ride and I wanna really put it through the numbers, but also because I wanna show my friends and, and people that I care about. I wanna want show them my new car, I'm proud of it. And if it doesn't happen this week, I don't know when it's gonna happen. It's gonna be a while. And yeah, I can send them pictures of course, but it'd be great to show them, maybe give them a ride, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? As of right now, it's a little bit after 12. Transfer is not completed. I'm not even hungry, I'm too excited. I feel like a little boy, that knows he's getting his favorite gaming system for Christmas and it's like a day or two before Christmas Eve and it's just like ah. With that, I have enough of a lunch break where I will be able to sneak away later to go to the bank if that falls into place today, which fingers crossed it does. So let's go back to work.
So it's still Monday, it's Monday night. The bank transfer has not completed. No matter how many times the Honda dealership called me, <laughs> the transfer didn't move any quicker than it would have had they not called, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> I understand not for nothing but I kind of worked out some good low monthly payments for this vehicle by putting a significant amount down for the car up front not only does it give me lower monthly payments but it also saves me a lot in interest too because more of the car is paid off up front so I won't be financing as long and not for as big an amount and on top of that the last particularly the last three to four years I've been working really hard on getting my credit score nice and beefy all that hard work paid off when I was at the dealership on Saturday and I was speaking to the guy and we we're working through all the information to see what the cost was going to be to me as far as monthly payments and he looked up my credit score he was like oh wow yeah you're doing great yeah you're better than most people I felt like doing one of these a little little pat in the back here because I worked hard to get that credit score to be something useful for me and that hard work is paid off. Waiting on the transfer, so instead of going to the dealership tonight and then tomorrow working on tons of editing, I'm gonna go put in a couple hours of editing now. Tomorrow's another big day. Hey there, it's Tuesday early afternoon. Actually, it's late morning and the transfer went through. I'm heading to the bank now, get myself a nice certified check. I already made the appointment tonight to get the car. just the bank classic as always you know things can't just go normally for me there's always some kind of little alteration in the course of things not always in a bad way just you know interesting way I'm just gonna back up a little make sure I don't run anybody over although the look especially on that guy's face maybe he, I should have run him over just kidding so while I was at Honda a couple days ago we were talking about given my payment. One of the options he said is that I could use a certified bank check. As a matter of fact, there weren't very many options at all. You know, I couldn't use credit card. I really want to use a, a direct bank transfer, you know, just kind of give my routing number and that stuff and just would have sent it directly from my savings account. But it's just not how they roll. So that's why I had to wait for my money to transfer to my checking account. So my savings account is with a non-brick and mortar bank. So instead I had, had to transfer to my checking account which is with a local bank and it cleared this morning and I went there to get a certified bank check and it turns out that they no longer distribute certified bank checks so instead I opted to take cash ironically the very last time I bought a car when I bought this car that I'm driving right now I also had taken a huge wad of cash bigger than I'm taking this time actually so I just find it interesting it's almost like a full circle here I am going to buy the replacement for this car and once again I'm showing up with a huge cash so now I'm just gonna head home work for about another half hour and then we're gonna take our next little errand trip of the day got my gas. I'm going to leave them with an empty tank when I get there. It's just the right thing to do. I know they're going to give me a quarter tank because they already told me so. With the gas I put in, should be a quarter tank by the time I get there. All right. just realized that's kind of the last string of errands I'm going to make with this car. I'm feeling kind of sentimental. It's the last time that car is bringing me to a haircut. Last time I'm putting gas in the car. Yeah, it's kind of hitting me right here a little bit. 10 years is a long time and I've been through so much in those 10 years and this car has been with me through all of it. I cannot be grateful enough for all this car has done for me and how reliable it's been. I gotta get back to the day job and then afterward we'll go pick up the new car. It's awfully dark out here but it's time to make that final voyage to go get the new car and my final trip with this old girl right here. All right, let's go get the car. Yep, 
I'm really happy about getting this new car. A little sad to say goodbye to this old girl right here. Thank you so much, O2007 oh, Hyundai Accent. You've been very, very good to me. I'll never forget you. But now, it's time to start some new memories with a new car. I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning. <laughs> I was at the dealership so late that I wasn't feeling stopping somewhere to eat. So I just came right home and just kind of made something quick and just kind of crashed. Figure I'd take care of everything else today. But I got to say, my experience at the dealership was so freaking awesome. Seriously, sorry about the light there. Middletown Honda, they really give you the royal treatment there. Better than a lot of other dealerships that I've dealt with. Better than a lot of dealerships that I've heard things about. I cannot say enough good things about how last night went. First of all, they closed at 8 o'clock and it was almost 9 by the time I left and they did not rush me out the door they had me they were like hey let's take care of this i did not feel any indication of haste going on they took time to make sure that everything was settled with my insurance with the auto loan and they even had a guy come in and show me like all the features on the inside including the digital stuff like make sure i was able to sync up my phone make a phone call show me how all the little new safety features work that i've never used before things like keeping you in your lane and making sure you're not getting too close to other cars I mean, all that stuff. I mean, I don't even know like the names of all the stuff that he showed me. Thank goodness I also have a manual I'll go back over, but at least I have an overview and I know how to use the car. So it's great. Right now I need to take pictures so that I can send it to my insurance company so that they can provide me damage coverage. So I'm gonna do that right now real quick. Might as well look at the insides. Here's the interior. Might as well look at it now before I have a chance to really settle in and make it look like crap. <laughs> the back. It's been a long time since I had a four door. I think not since my last Honda. All right. And we should see the trunk as well. Trunk. Lots of trunk space. I haven't had time yet to put junk in my trunk. <laughs> I know that was corny. So that's the card. So this is a Honda Civic LX sedan. That's why I had gotten. Kind of sleek looking if you ask me. Pretty cool. This is gonna be my ride for probably the next decade. I'm pretty happy with this purchase. Mm -hmm. 